A cashier asks a woman to wait her turn and six days later just is savagely beaten at her place of work, literally because she asked a woman to wait her turn. In this story, Lisbel Rodriguez Luna, a 24-year-old cashier, was working her shift, ringing up customers, smiling happy, and a woman came in who was outside redeeming bottles, came in with her slip for her cash, cut the line and just walked right up to Lisbel and handed her the slip. And Lisbel asked her, you know, did she give you her turn, you know, pointing at the woman behind the woman that she was currently ringing up? She basically said, that's not your business. She said, I'm going to get my daughters. We're going to come down here and I'm going to kill you. When I was doing my interview, I actually asked the manager, someone threatens to kill one of your employees. You guys do nothing. And he just kind of laughed and said, this is not something new or this is not something, you know, out of the ordinary. The next time she came back, which was six days later, you can see her pacing up and down the block on her phone. After about 15 or 20 minutes, you see them get together and it's girls meeting up with their mother who looks to be in her 50s. The automatic door opens, this young girl crosses like six feet in like one second and just BAM! First shot in. It's vicious. And it's not just one person, it's like five people. The three daughters, the mother, and for some reason some other adult woman are all reaching in and getting their shots in on the victim. And one of the stock boys, he's physically trying to like block for her. You can see the surprise and terror in his eyes like, what is going on here? So the manager, he calls the police on Sunday afternoon. They put the victim in the car, in the squad car, and they drive around the neighborhood looking for the perp. When I say they had clear video, as clearly as you're watching me on this video, you could see everyone in that store. I don't know that the police took any of the video with them. I asked the manager, so did they give you a number to call? Like, did they give you a point man? Did they tell you who to reach out to? And he was just like, um, no, could you give me that number? And nobody has made an arrest yet. I mean, obviously no one is allowed to attack you, that is against the law. But we have laws that make the penalties for attacking like police officers or you know EMTs or bus drivers, MTA employees. We have laws that make attacking these people much more serious of a crime. And there are associations right now that are trying to get the same kind of treatment for people who work in supermarkets. Their argument is that, you know, these are you know, during the pandemic, these were frontline workers, these were essential workers. And if these are essential workers, you know, how come you can just beat the hell out of one and walk away and, you know, nobody is batting an eyelash. But you can see by the video, this was shocking that this woman was on her own. I mean, her employees rallied and tried to help her. But in the end, these people attacked her. They faced no repercussions. They got out of there. I think the more attention that incidents like this get, the more seriously these kinds of attacks are going to be taken and nobody wants their wife their their daughter to be attacked by five people and everybody just walk away and be like hey you know nobody died don't worry about it that's not okay so if you're interested in stories like this being told by the reporters at the new york post go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of them if you want to be updated on these stories the moment we put up this new content go ahead and hit the notification bell thanks